Hey everyone, it's me again. Um, uh, before I begin, I just want to say I'm still learning how to put these videos online, and uh, I'm not again I'm not that good at talking in front of people. But I just want to talk about my uh, my symptoms I had when I was sick with H. pylori, and uh, and the foods I ate. Um, at the beginning, um, for like the first three months, um, my stomach would burn a lot, um, especially especially in the like around one or two. And uh, in the morning, um, I'll be asleep and it would just wake me up. I felt because I felt like I wanted to throw up. And then, uh, and I would be up for the rest of the night. And, um, but there were many sleepless nights. I, like, I could not sleep at night. My anxiety was bad. I was afraid to go to bed uh, because of, you know, because of the pain and discomfort I would feel in the middle of the night. And I never, I never looked forward to the nights. Like every time around seven or eight, you know, at, at night, I would get depressed because, you know, you know, because I knew I wasn't going to be able to sleep. I never, I never looked forward to the nights either, you know, and uh, I had to sleep sitting up uh, for many nights. And uh, I was always tired, fatigued, you know, and uh, another symptom too I had I was, uh, I was always nauseated. And, uh, Every time I would go long periods without long periods of time without eating, uh, I would feel pain in my stomach, discomfort, and I felt like I wanted to throw up. You know, I was nauseous, bad. <clears throat> another thing too, uh, another symptom of mine was, uh, I think, like beginning of a month and a half, um, I started experiencing like the chills, bad. Like I would feel cold. You know, the inside of my head felt like it was freezing. Uh, I was constantly with, had the chills, and mind you, like I live in Texas, and this happened in the summer summertime. Uh, I was I was always on wearing sweats. Uh, I had the temperature inside my apartment high, like around 80. You know, I was wearing hoodies, and uh, it was scary because I didn't know what was going on. And I, I would message my doctor and ask him what, what was it, what was going on. You know, they couldn't give me no answers. And another thing too, like. I noticed like when dealing with H. pylori, there were times I would like, you know, most of the time I was feeling bad, you know, horrible. But there was, there was sometimes too, like I felt like I, I feel good. Like, hey, I'm, I'm getting, I'm feeling better. But then all of a sudden the next day, it just, you know, my symptoms would, would hit me bad. You know, and like I said, I don't know what it is, but you know, having stomach problems, you know, like, you know, especially dealing with H. pylori, it just felt like I wanted to die, man. It just, it was scary. Um, another thing too, you know, I lost my appetite. You know, I never felt hungry. Uh, my wife had to constantly uh, remind me to eat. And uh, let's see what else too, I, I can remember. Also another one too, I remember too, uh, there towards the, like, uh, I noticed my feet, like the bottom of my feet felt numb all the time. Like, cold numbers you know i didn't know what was going on it was just like every time i asked the doctors about about my symptoms they never could give me an answer and i i, no, I noticed like and i also went to the emergency room like seven times too and i started noticing these doctors man they, they weren't they thought i was seeking attention or you know seeking pain meds or something but you know never in my life i, I had never been to the hospital that many times you know and uh I also feel constipation. You know, sometimes I would have constipation, or sometimes loose loose stools. And uh, but yeah, I know that's mostly my symptoms too. Like I said, I had developed anxiety bad. I never experienced that. I never believed in that until you know I experienced it myself. And depression too. I remember when, like when my wife would go to work. You know, I, I would cry. You know, for her not to go to work because I didn't want to be alone. You know, I felt all alone. You know, and. Uh, it's just crazy how this H. pylori misses with your mind a lot, and no, nobody's gonna understand. You know, uh, you know. I know there's two now. Doctors won't won't understand. You know how what patients go through when having H. pylori. The only ones that's gonna understand is, are the people that went through or suffering with H. pylori. You know, and uh, another thing too I wanted to share is the, are the foods I ate. You know, I you know I was stressed like to stick with this bland with bland diet to stay away from spicy foods fried foods fatty foods avocado i mean 
uh, junk food, acidic, acidic fruits. Uh, you know, I think that was one of the keys too that helped me to fully recover is sticking with the bland diet. But uh, like I said, I was out, I was out of work for like two and a half months, so like that. I can't remember for almost three months, I think. Um, in the mornings, I will wake up around 5:30, take a shot of uh, honey, and uh, wait like 30 minutes to an hour. I will scramble myself an egg with spinach, you know, and uh, sometimes too with a half, you know, half baked potato, small piece, and with a slice of toast. And then around 10:30 or 11, uh, I would sip on some uh, bone broth. That, you know, that helped me out a lot too. You know, sipping on bone broth, a cup of bone broth. You know, and then uh, around 11:30, well, I'm, I'm sorry, around 12:31, uh, I'll boil, boil a thin slice of uh, chicken breast with white rice and a slice of toast. And then around 2:30 uh, or three, uh, I'll snack again uh, with uh, watermelon, papaya banana or apples or you know again sometimes with uh another cup of bone broth but and for me too you know this might not help for everybody but watermelon sure did help me out a lot you know it might not help other you know other people but for me it i always had to have watermelon in my refrigerator that helped me out a lot and uh around 6 37 uh i would have ground lean ground turkey meat i would boil it you know, and um, eat that with white rice, um, boiled white rice, some lentils, and uh, sometimes with, you know, a few slices of avocados, and again, uh, with a slice, piece of, a slice of toast, you know. And then around nine o'clock, uh, before I went to bed, I'll take another shot of honey, uh, snack on a little bit of uh, plain Greek yogurt, or some saltine crackers, you know, just, to, you know. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much my routine for um, what I ate for almost four straight months. And uh, now I'm not sure, I, I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but like, I know at nights, I never I never did look forward uh, to, towards the night. Cause it, it just, you know, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to sleep. I knew I was gonna be in pain, like starting around uh, one or two in the morning. You know, all of a sudden my stomach would start hurting, like I said, and I never did, you know, I would hate the nights. Like I said, I, there were many nights I had to sleep set, uh, setting up, but and there were many nights that uh, there was, I couldn't sleep. I think at one time, I remember um, how I, I think I almost went a whole week without sleeping. And I just broke down crying because I, I, I was just begging, you know, begging God, please to let me sleep, you know, I, you know. And like I said, this with this H. pylori, you know, you might, you know, you might have a few good days. There might be a few good days for you. You might think like, you know, I'm feeling better. But all of a sudden, you know, you're back to, it seems like you're back to square one. But yeah, I just wanted to share these, um, share these, um, share my symptoms and things I ate with y'all.